Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal, and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. Hey, what up you guys, it is Sassy Assassin here, back with another video, I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far, and in today's video I'm going to be reacting to Singari Seafood Mukbang. So, the reason why you guys haven't seen any recent reactions to her most recent live streams is because I'm unable to find a, like a really good clip down version of her live streams that doesn't include somebody else's commentary. Um. There was just saying, but she's been kind of like meshing like v her videos together and uh and then during the video she's like mesh meshing like different scenes of the videos together, so I'm just like, I just want a video where I could just react to a clip down version of Chantel's live stream that just include the relevant parts. I don't want to react to the entire live stream because some of them most of them like run over an hour long to two hours and I'm not about to do that so does this kind of give you guys an understanding of like how I'm feeling about her most recent live streams it's still pretty much the same old shit that, that she's been spewing how she's gonna you know gonna go to the gym but she's not gonna do that until she loses weight because of her si and she doesn't want to go to the gym because of her sciatica look I have sciatica Chantel and let me just tell you if you do you know proper like let's say pre-workout maintenance and post-workout maintenance to help deal with sciatica you'll be you should be fine there's just no excuse Chantel. And, and in any case i don't think she could even fit on any of the machines but there are still things you can do um to work out that don't include you being on a machine um that don't include a weight limit so there there's literally no excuse okay um, you could even choose swimming as a workout. That's very low impact. And I, uh, from what I recall, there was a, a pool at the, you do have a pool at your guys' apartment complex. And uh, you have a pool at the gym as well. So there's literally no excuse for you not to go and work out. Okay? No excuse. You just don't want to do it. Okay? Um, she talked about, well, this is what really disturbs me. Wanting Julia to have kittens. She wanted. To, she was talking about breeding Julia. When I heard that, my my body went cold, like a chill, a, a unpleasant chill went down my spine. Like the idea of Chantel breeding Julia, taking care of a pregnant Julia, and then taking care of the newborns that come out of the litter, scares the living shit out of me. This woman is is a documented animal abuser, and she's sitting here talking about breeding. A cat, like I can't, like that takes a lot. Okay, I I knew I know somebody that has that did that when I was in school. Like that they they had her her mom was like a a breeder. Okay, and she, of um, and this is not even a cat. It was dogs. Okay, and she I'm not sure what the, what the I can't remember what the breed was. I think I, I think it was a pug. I think she used to breed pugs, and um, you know, breeding an animal is not easy. Okay. Like, there's a lot that goes into it. <laughs> okay, we wanted to breed, Win, you know, have Winston be like a stud, basically. And we realized, like, how much money it would cost and, like, what goes into it and stuff like that. And we just couldn't do it, you know. Because, you know, Winston, he could, you know, I, I don't know now. I think he's gone beyond the point where he could actually be a, a viable stud. But, like, at one point in time, like, I had a numer number of offers on Winnie. 
to be a stud because he is like and I know it doesn't at the end of the day it really doesn't matter like you know a dog is a dog right you know like it doesn't matter where they come from you know every dog is every animal is precious you know what I mean like for me it doesn't really matter but you know um for us, it was like we saw Winnie on this website, whatever, and he so happened to come from a breeder, and we all just fell in love with him, and we met him, and we fell in love with him, and, you know, that's where the, the, the you know, uh, that's the story, you know what I mean? Like, but, you know, we've gotten dog, you know, animals from, from shelters, so, you know, just, for us, it doesn't really matter, but it was just, I don't know, we just, it just happened the way it happened, right? So we got our dog from, you know, a, a breeder who breeds, you know, um, dogs for, he has dogs that have won w Westminster. So he's like a very well sought after, sought after breeder in the entire, like in the world, not just the U S people travel from different countries to get a dog from him. Um, so, um, it just, I remember like talking to him, like hey, to him and what went into just breeding a dog. Like he was also breeding a, a a certain kind of cat as well like um it was just like there's a lot that goes into it so it's just like the the idea of Chantel successfully breeding a litter of kittens from a cat from a street cat having no prior experience bothers me because you know what's going to happen those cats are going to be neglected those kittens are going those newborns are going to be neglected they're not going to she's not going to do it right because she doesn't do her research, they could die, you know. And then when she's, you know, when the when the whole thrill of it wears off, she's probably gonna, she could, you know, just abandon them to the streets and just say, well, you know, there are plenty of street cats that survive. I don't see what the problem is. Because that's the kind of person Chantel is. She doesn't give a shit about the well-being of others, be it animal or human. She only cares about herself. And so. You know, it's just like, why isn't anything d being done about, you know, Chantel's being an animal abuser over in Kuwait? Why hasn't anybody contacted the authorities and say, please do not let this woman own an animal because she will abuse them? Is is there any laws that protect animals over in the in in Kuwait? I would love to know, because she should not be allowed to have an animal. There should be a, a something out there that not does not allow somebody like Chantel to have a pet. She should have Julia taken away and Howie taken away and they should be rehomed somewhere else. She should not be allowed to own any kind of animal. I don't give a shit w whether she's been taking Julia to get groomed and, and stuff like that. She, you know, I don't give a shit. Like she's an animal abuser, documented animal abuser. She tried to have her elderly cat m basically put down. Because she didn't want the the news to come out that she'd been neglecting that cat for years. So it's just like, it just scares the living shit out of me. But I, other than that, it's like the same, the same rhetoric that she's been spewing about numerous other things for years. About reaction channels, about her weight, and all that stuff. It's nothing we haven't heard before. And I, and I said this in my Amber Lynn video, and I'll repeat this. These girls, with all their complaining about the reaction channels... It's like, you need us to survive. Okay? <laughs> and all the support that you claim to have from people, Amber Lynn does the same thing. A lot of those people don't give a shit about you, and they're m mainly trolls. Okay? Because if you watch her live streams, and you look at the, the super chats and what's being said in those super chats, they just talk about, want to talk about the bad stuff. You know, the, you know, the stuff that you know that she doesn't want to talk about. That's how much they really care about you, Chantel, if they're always constantly bringing up stuff that you, that they know you don't want to talk about. Because if they cared about you, they wouldn't dream of wanting to, of talking about that to you. Because they knew that it, it, they know it would hurt you. So tell me again, like, how much they really care about you, Chantel. But like I said, you need us to survive. I don't, and now she's talking about striking, you know, reaction channels again, because she's bored, basically. That's why she's coming live all the time because she's essentially bored and Sala isn't there. It's like, okay, okay, strike us if you want to. Strike us but and try to get rid of us. But once we're gone, Chantel, you're not going to have a channel. 
people are going to stop watching because we're not there to 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 drive the traffic to your channel. But you know, go ahead, play the, play this game. If it, if it, you know whatever momentary thrill that you get out of it is going to be short lived because once you realize that oh gee, I actually really did need them, especially FFG and YouTube Underground. The, the, the income that you have and the, and the lifestyle that you have been uh, afforded is going to go down the tube. And you're actually going to go and have to get an actual job that will not allow you to be lay around your, um, your ship box like a land whale all the time, just snacking on foods. So go ahead, Chantel. Play the game. I, I can't wait to see you, you, your channel fail. Even more than it already is. But anyways, without further ado, folks, let's get to it. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message from me on Cameo. It's super easy. Cameos also make great birthday or special occasion gifts. Hope to hear from you. Bye. Hello, guys. Hi. Welcome to having another dinner with me. So, um, yeah. So before people pick apart how much rice I eat, not that I care, this is a totally then why why even bring it up if you don't care it's obvious that you do care because you're bringing it up whenever you bring something up and say well i don't care it's obvious that you do care just like how you, with your looks how, how you go after other people's looks but you say i don't care about what people say about my looks but the, you're going to go after another person's looks anyways just goes to show how much you care about what people say about your looks so it's like you care about what people comment on how much food you're eating because why else bring it up if you didn't give a shit small portion okay so <laughs> i mean it looks like an okay-ish portion i mean that's surpri surprising to me <laughs> all right but that portion of what a seafood looks like a fucking platter doesn't look what even is that singari seafood like what is it what is that i don't even know what that is mug with ice and i'm having some unamate and here she is once again, barely being able to sit on the couch with her with her uh, tray in front of her. Like this is so insane to me. And now she's drinking her her uh, diet drinks swill, her overly priced diet MLM diet drinks swill that's doing nothing for her. Cause I need energy big time. Plus, it tastes like it has no sugar and it tastes like iced tea. So it's for me, I love it. refreshing all right right now i'm having um singari so i have some bread and cheese over here tahini rice brown rice some eggplant some grape leaves and fish More food. this is tilapia and fish and it's um singari style so it's flayed and grilled i'm gonna put some or like butterfly i guess you would say lemon Hi, baby girl. Bismillah. Oh, let's try these grape leaves. I love them. It's, okay, this is a, probably a stupid. I'm, I could pro Google this, but like, what are grape leaves? Like, I, I need to research this because, like, I've I've seen you know Chantel eat them. I've seen other people eat them. I'm like. What is actually grape leaves? I'm really confused. <laughs> like, what they are they just actual leaves? Hot pepper. So today is weigh-in Monday, and I weighed myself. Is that fresh fish? Hmm. You just, this is what I don't understand. You're doing a mukbang of ordered food that you ordered out. And you have all this food in the house. I don't get it. Why not just cook something? Makes the rice very creamy. <laughs> and I've gained weight. Actually, I, I'm not going to lie. Tahini and rice is not actually that bad. I think I had a tahini rice like thingy that I did once. And um, with tofu and veggies. Actually, it was really good. Of course you gained weight. Like, look how much you've been eating. And I know why. 
I explained why in my video yesterday. Why I think that is. It's just water weight, you guys. She's gained 13 pounds of water weight, you guys. <laughs> The B word. Yep, and binging, of course. Like she acknowledges that. Do you ever just feel like, like I was watching TikToks, and I follow a few Italian. Grandmas. And I follow, follow a few Italian grandmas. They're like super old. And they eat pasta like every day. <laughs> you know, people can eat that like that every day, but if you're really active, you can burn those those calories off. Okay. Seriously. But like, unlike you, who basically are just like a, the embodiment of a human land whale that just sits around all day, you're not going to burn any of those calories off if you're not exercising. You just don't take a couple walks a week and, and that's it and think you're just going to burn all this weight. That has to be consistent. Burn all this weight. Why did I just say that? You know, burn off the calories to lose the weight. Like... It doesn't matter how much, if you're going to be eating an exorbitant amount of calories, okay, like you've been eating, walking two or three hours isn't going to do it. You'd have to do walking for a couple hours and then doing numerous other kind of exercises to even make a fucking dent in the amount of calories that you eat. That's why you shouldn't be eating as much as you're eating because you're not burning enough ca enough calories to, you know, make it a, a, de a deficit. You know what I mean? Like... It's simple, it's, it's, it's pretty simple, you know, for any diet, you know, portion control and you have to be at a certain deficit to lose weight. It is what it is. I don't know what is so hard for these girls to understand. They think they can trick their way, you know, around it, based, you know, work their way around it and, you know, you know, do little, you know, shortcuts and tricks. No amount of shortcuts, no amount of tricks is going to really be make a sustainable weight loss and they're not even in the best shape like they're not super thin or anything like that but they're super old and alive but they make everything from scratch so i think the quality of the food well, matters. yeah because you know yeah you can still have high quality, good quality food and overeat and, and gain weight. It doesn't matter. It's portion control, moderation, and getting plenty of exercise. But I bet you those Italian women on TikTok are not as big as you. Not death fats. They're probably maybe a little bit chubby, you know, and when you get older, you know, you don't are not able to lose the weight as, as fast because of your metabolism breaks down a little bit, you know? I mean, I, but then again, I've seen older people um, be really fit. Like, I, I know of an actor in his, like, 70s. Oh, God, what's his name? He did this, like, this... Uh, because uh, I remember reading, seeing this article about him, but I watched it. It's called "Don't Breathe," and like he's this older guy who was played the blind guy, whatever. And what re like re really kind of struck me was how fit he is at his age, and he works out a lot. And um, I mean, it's just incredible how fit and just and stuff like that. I thought, wow, he's that age, but he's just so fit. Like it, I never seen anything. like like that before but it's just like it just depends you know what i mean i think that guy that guy is like an exception to the rule but like i just couldn't believe how like how fit he was in the movies you know in that movie i was like wow he's that fit like damn like but um it just really depends you know what i mean like 
my mom, she's my, my parents my are both kind of overweight, but like not like death fat overweight. You know what I mean? Like but my parents are both active with mobility issues given. And you know what I mean? Like let's say they're better at moderation and portion control and stuff like that than I am. Um obviously. But like um it just really depends, Chantel. It really depends. But they still have plenty of health issues and stuff like that. But it's just like, you know, just I try to take a leaf out of their book, but it's sometimes it's hard. It's hard when you have a disorder, this kind of disordered eating, like I like I do, and like so many other people. But it's just like it just really depends. I just can't think of the guy's name. Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, you know, the movie is called Don't Breathe, and there was there was a sequel. I I just liked it because, but then that whole like uh scene in the basement with the with the turkey baser really disturbed me. But like um just the actors, like how fit he was, just really was just impressed me. I was like, damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. So little. Watch the movie, look it up. The turkey baser scene is really disturbing. <laughs> like, I was so grossed out by that. The only thing I hate are the bones. So, that being said. Oh, God. <laughs> Why didn't um, you just get a fish? Oh, this is probably like from a place, or it's like fresh fish, whatever. Yeah. I, though, that's what I was gonna say. I can't. Oh, I'd have to buy a fish that's do it myself and just it, where it's already deboned. You know what I mean? And I was like, you know what? Like when I went, when I did lose the seven kgs. You were on. You were on Ozempic. I pretty much just ate like a bit of everything. You were on Ozempic. You were on a medication. But less of it, and I walk <clears throat> But less of it, and I was walking a lot, you know. So. Okay, you lost the seven kgs because you were on Ozempic and you were on drug, other kind of drugs. Don't try to rewrite history here, okay? You were a drug addict back then. You ate like shit. We have, th there's videographic evidence, Chantel, of you constantly eating junk, like, hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes of fast food, junk food, whatever your heart's desire. I mean, I'll never forget the, the, the one, the one time when you were high off your ass, okay, sitting there with a box of lakmas, and it was looked like you were eating shit, basically. And you were just like, you know, if you fake love me, you know, but whatever. I mean, remember that? Remember that one? Oh, God. That's why, that's the only reason why you lost weight is because of Ozempic and, and drugs. It wasn't because you were working hard. You know, you were actually working on your weight. It was because you were on drugs. On a legal drug and you were on illegal drugs. And you're pretty much, you were pretty much strung out half the time. I had bread every day, pasta, rice, but I added veggies, proteins, like a bit of everything. I when was, was this? When 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 was this? Was this during Crackhead Olympics, or or is she talking about another time? Was it was this pre Crackhead Olympics? When she wasn't she on the Ozempic before she met Koki, or was it? She she was already on was she already on Ozempic? I think I I, I think this is what happened. She was already on Ozempic, and then she meets Koki, and then things go downhill from there. I don't know. I have to. I would have to look back on that. But I know she was on Ozempic. It's very eye opening that only a couple, well, like a few, B words. Can bring that weight right back up. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Given how, I mean, for 
binges, uh, we're talking about thousands and thousands of calories. And the same with Amber. I mean, she talked about ramen and, and Reese cups and, and God knows what. It's like, how much of that shit did you eat? And the kind of binges that Amber Lynn would talk about, she was saying it was bad. It must have been pretty damn bad. She must have had like a whole, you know, like big packet full of, I mean, I've seen, I've seen what these bad binges look like. Like my idea of a bad binge is me eating a whole bag of freaking sun chips. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because a serving can be like two hundred and some calories. Because so you, so you can imagine seven what ser seven servings can do you. You know what I mean? So it's like, but then you know, I'm not adding on top of that. You know, if I know, see, the last time I did binge on on sun chips, like I didn't eat so much after that. Because I was like, oh god, I binged and I just have to watch what I eat now. But then again, you know, maybe maybe in my idea of not eating a lot is still a lot. I don't know. I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to get into that dietitian. <clears throat> I'm waiting two months two bits but two months since I've been waiting to to hear to get in. <laughs> So, so I'm just trying to help myself at the moment, but why, just waiting to get in for an appointment. What is this? God, she's so disgusting. She eat, eating with her hands, and a, she's not even using proper utensils. Why can't you just eat, like, knife and fork? Somebody needs to give her table, like lessons on how to eat properly you know see i was i was brought up to eat properly you know given let's say lessons when i was younger let's call it that like you know how to eat properly with your knife and fork and you know where the where the napkin goes and you know what utensil you use for this and that like lessons basically you know I live. I live in a, say a very po. Let's say uh, <laughs> you would call it a posh English household kind of thing. Even though we're poor, it's like, I just I was taught to to a certain kind of way. You know, table manners basically. You know. So the the idea of the, how Chantel eats is just kind of like. It bothers me because I was just trained at such a young age. The only other time, let's say, I would eat with my hands. Let's say, if I was like at a McDonald's, you know, you, you don't have red. But even then, like, I still have a knife and fork, even though I'm eating a cheeseburger and fries. Is that crazy? It's like remember that episode of Seinfeld where people, where the like, um, oh god, who is it? Like. Eating a Snickers bar with like a, a I think it was like George that started eating a Snickers bar with like a, a knife and fork. Or he saw somebody eat a Snickers bar with a knife and fork. And then he did, did, started doing it. And then everybody else started doing it. And then he started seeing people doing it around the city. So that like it became this trend around the city. People just literally sitting there eating a Snickers bar with a knife and fork. Acting like it was some like cuisine. <laughs> I mean, there's, you know, finger foods, you know, that you, yeah, you, you eat it with your hands. But then it's just like, when it comes to certain things like this, you don't just eat it with a spoon and start, like, using your trotters to go in there and, and, and you know, pick apart the bones and stuff. Like, there are ways of doing this. But she was never taught how to eat properly. Anyway. Table manners. I'm gonna try. No table manners. I'm gonna get back on track. Sure you are. The exercise was helping a lot, especially with my pain. Yes, it would. This seems like a lot of fish, though. A lot of meat. Like this should be for this is like for two people, not for one person. Like I haven't been out walking, doing my walks. And why is this? As a result, 
Um, my pain is really bad today. That's why I'm kind of not in a great mood, you know? Oh, God, the way she's eating, it's grossing me out. So I gotta get back out there. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I gotta speed this up. I'm sorry. I can't for the eating. Yes, and the indeed, noises. I do. I gotta take all the bones out. Hold on. Oh God! Isn't there? There is a way. I see. I don't eat a, a lot of fish. For some reason, I'm just not a big fish person. And if, if, even if I do have fish, so I do have fish, yes, and I should eat more fish. Usually we buy stuff that's already been deboned and stuff like that. So I gained some weight. Oh, God. Look how swollen she is. But I will lose it again. No, you won't. Inshallah. God, Chantel, use a knife and fucking fork. Stop sticking your freaking trotters in the food. It is gross. It is disgusting. You literally have no table manners. You are like a pig at a... Oh my god. I can't. <clears throat> I can't. This is why I have a hard time with her mukbangs. Because, like, the way she eats... Something is making me sneezy. I'm not sure what. <laughs> oh... So, another thing I want to talk about. She gained weight. How much weight did you gain? 13 pounds? 14 pounds? 15? 20? 50? What is your weight? Which I believe I've expressed concern over before. But. I'm debating saying this because in Islam, when you are repentant, you should only do it to Allah, not revealing your sins to others. But she's so gross. There was a comment from another Muslim sister, and it made me think. I feel, you know, like other Muslims. Hey, can you just have like, a right to remind you? Of stop. This is insane. She's having. It's taking so long for her to complete her sentence because she's so busy. Just eating and eating and eating and eating. It's like, dude, just stop eating for a minute and say what you have to say and then go back to eating. My God, just say it. On the right path. Not in a judgmental way, but in a caring way. What when you're saying? going off track of the right path. Oh, God. I feel, you know, like other Muslims have a right to remind you of the right path. Not in a judgmental way, but in a caring way. When you're going off track. So I appreciate that. Not being condescended by people who are not even Muslim or religious and also commit immoral oh. acts. Okay, oh, so only... Mus religious like mus religious people or Muslims are allowed to have a, a an opinion according to you, because the rest of us we're just we're just immoral he people that don't have any morals whatsoever. No, I'm a religious person myself. I'm a Christian. Okay, but even when I wasn't, I still had a sense of mor morals. And the sense of like, basically, what right and wrong. You know what I mean. One doesn't need to be religious to have a sense of morality. I've met plenty of atheists who are sensible, moral people. Okay. Oh, um, one of my favorite, my favorite, like, like, atheist kind of commentators, you know, people on YouTube is Jacqueline Glenn. You know. She was once a, a Christian. I think she was a Catholic at one point. She grew up Catholic. And, you know, she has her reasons for why she 
no longer was a Christian, but she has morals. She's very smart, w- well educated, and she has a good sense of like morals and and know the right, knowing what's right, right and wrong. Okay. So it's like, even as a Christian now, you know, coming back, you know, finding my my faith again. Like. I understand that one doesn't need to be religious to have morals and I will never judge somebody who doesn't like, who isn't like a believer, no matter what your faith is. Like, because I, you know, it's, it's not depending on, (laughs) on what faith you're part of, whether it be Muslim, Buddhism, um, Christianity, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, a Mormon or um you know uh what's the other one but they're kind of like a cult they're more like a cult these days uh oh god I can't remember what the other one is um okay you know what it's in my head I know what they who they are but uh I, I just can't remember the name but um it it doesn't really you know religious people can also be bad people you know, can be, can be bad people who doesn't have a good sense of morality, but they still call themselves religious. Okay, the, the, there's more than enough evidence to suggest that in, in di- people of different faiths who are turn out to be not very good humans. You're one of those people, Chantal. You're claiming to be a Muslim human, a Muslim woman, a revert, but you're not a good person. You don't have a good sense of morality. So for you to come out here and be like, well, I'm only going to take advice from other Muslim women, other Muslim individuals, from other people of, of, of faith, you know, whether it be my faith or somebody else's, you know, whether other different faith, as long as they're, you know, religious. Because the rest of you, you just don't have a good sense of morality. You're immoral and, and you take part in immoral acts. What have you been doing, Chantel? The the moment you go back to Canada, you got high, right? And even back in Kuwait, you're still an amoral human being. You went back to Canada, got high, okay, and then claimed, well, because it's there and because it's legal, I'm well within my rights to, to smoke weed. Well, according to the Muslim faith, intoxicants are, is, against, is haram. It's against, it goes against you know it's against Allah I'm like what so but you know according to you somebody who really doesn't know anything about the faith that you're that you claim to be a part of would know that there's uh, I posted a clip of it during one of my videos and I just think it, he this man that I think he was a sheik and he made such a wonderful like a wonderful point about how intoxicants like if you were to be it would die and be intoxicated, there was a certain place you would go, according to their faith. And see, since you're a death fat who is so close to, I mean, in my opinion, close to death's door, whether you want to believe it or not, if you were to die, whether it was intoxicated, as a Muslim, you would go to that certain place. But we're supposed to, we're supposed to, you know, consider you consider yourself a a moral person, with 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 good values. And they're going to talk down to us about us react because we're reaction channels. Us, us, let's say, uh, those who are not, you know, religious, spiritual people as immoral because they don't belong to a faith. That is so fucking judgmental. Like, seriously. But... Hello, sister. And uh, FYI, um, I'm drinking this seltzer water by Kroger's, and you know, zero calories, like caffeine free, and it's cranberry lime, and it's a Kroger brand. Like seriously, if you can get your hands on this, buy it because it is so freaking good. I don't know if this is just like a Christmas version. I don't think so, but cranberry lime seltzer water from Kroger's, if you can get it, buy it. It's so good. Like, the combination just really hits. 
What's up, my community post? Retaliating against haters. And that engaging in the drama and backbiting is not something that I should be doing. And that's a hundred percent true. And don't say to me that, well, you have these haters or reaction channels reminding you, saying it's haram, haram. I don't mean in that way. I mean, like from another former sister, gently reminding. So, <clears throat> in a non mocking manner. Um, One doesn't need to be religious to understand what's haram and what's not. You know why? Because the internet is a thing. And one can look up on YouTube or whatever, you know, Google whatever and find and look up the rules. You know, the, you know, the rules basically. Why does it... Why? So now only um, another Muslim is allowed to com comment on what's haram? No. D I, I, I don't think so. Right? Because the internet is a thing. And she's mainly talking about Frenchie, okay? Frenchie who literally lives with a Muslim man. Okay? Not, not lives, but is with a Muslim man, has been for years, would know about what's haram and what's isn't. She's she's very knowledgeable about these things, okay? It, it just bothers you, basically, because it's coming from her. And so, you being a spiteful bitch that you are, you will continue to do these things because, to spite, to spite her basically because you are literally competing with this with ffg that's what this is it's a competition with her the only person that you're hurting is yourself you're not only hurting yourself with with regards to your, your weight but you're hurting yourself with regards to your own spiritual well-being you think that that allah isn't going to uh fault you for the things that you've been doing and saying oh most definitely same goes for Salah. You think that Allah isn't going to fault Salah for the shit that he's been doing and saying? Oh, most definitely. So don't try to come on here acting all fucking pious and shit. No, no, no. You are a bad person, Chantel. No matter what faith you belong to, you're a bad person. Because of your actions. Because of your words. It doesn't matter what faith you belong to. Or even if you weren't a person of faith, you're still a bad person. I mean, there's there's so much evidence of of people who famous people, you know, incident famous incidents in history of people who have claimed to be of faith, who have done horrible things to other people, who have been horrible people, but they claim to be of faith. So many incidents of that. Like, oh my God. But she's going to act like that, 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 you know, she's acting like, well, because a person is of faith, you know, that, that wipes it all, all out. Do you know, I'm going to, and this is a topic that is kind of like touchy, but I'm going to bring it up anyways. And this is a reason why I, I'm very, I, I don't think I would want to join the Catholic faith, even though my parents are like, you know, cal people who, River kind of became Catholics at an, you know a number of years ago. Okay, we we'd always been a Church of England, but then we became they became Catholics because of the abuse of children in the faith. And then you have the Magdalene laundries, okay, which yes did exist over here at a certain point in time, but morally more or less they existed in um, Europe and. I know some existed in Canada, but like, you know, the Magdalene laundries, I know it's another thing, you know, I think there are th certain things that have been done in the name of faith that I just can't see, see past in that, in that denomination of, of Christianity, you know, because there are people still out there that are, that are, are suffering because of the 
abuse and still going on of children from actual members of clergy and then you have the magdalen laundries which no longer exist technically anywhere in the world i mean the last one that existed was like closed shop in like 96 so, but you still have victims exit living from those times babies being taken away and soul i mean i mean you know what i mean it's just like so these people were of faith okay part of the the clergy you know nuns or you know priests or whatever and they took part of these and in, in, in these atrocities. These are just like, let's just say, uh, like more modern day atrocities. Okay. But still something that I can't seem to make my, my peace with because of the stories that I've heard of what these people have had to go through. So it's like, you know, I, I think the same could be said uh, of things happening within them as as mu m bad mu people who are muslims who took part in bad things oh he's saying well that their their crimes are canceled out because they're they're a faith that they they they're moral no which i appreciate so you're right so i took those posts down you know i the thing is chantel you're still responding though you are still responding to the hate. That's the thing. You could sit there and say, well, another a Muslim sister advised me this and that. But I'm going to take their advice and I'm going to, you know, um, acknowledge them because what? Because of their, their, their another Muslim. So only their word counts. We've all been saying the same. A lot of people have been saying the same thing. Just don't respond, you know. Don't respond to it. Don't rise up to the occasion. You'd be so much better if you just don't rise up to the occasion. Because you're only making an ass of yourself. We've been saying this for years, but all because now, you know, a, a woman of the same faith as you, only her opinion matters. The fact that there's so many people, whether they're religion or, religious or not, and I'm not saying that this, uh, this Muslim woman is wrong, but it's just like, what, so only her opinion matters, even though all, we've all been saying the same thing. So you only put value on her opinion, on uh, her, their their uh, pers uh, religious person's opinion. Just d doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. I'm not like dissing that person. I'm just saying we've all been saying the same thing. So it's, we collectively agree. Like what the hell, Chantel? So how can we be the rest of us? You know, let's say be, be a amoral if we all collectively agree. does not make sense to me i'm gonna try to take down most of my posts probably my past that are not not who i want to be anymore or showing my hair okay well that's the case chantelle then stick to it stick to your guns and and then then don't come back on here when you do you know blow your your gasket and be like because then we'll remind you well you promised that you would do this and that according to your faith. And don't come on here and be like, well, you can't tell me what to do. Blah, 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 blah. You can't this and you can't that. Oh, by the way, she's also claiming to have taken off her filters. Yeah, but by the way. In the last live stream that she did, she claimed that she took off her filters. Um, and shit like that. That's not... <laughs> You're such a fucking. You're lying. You lie all the time. How can you? That's also against in a lot of faith, different different faiths. Lying is like a basically a th It's a standard thing. You don't. You know what I mean? Like you, you should. No matter what faith you're part of, lying is one of those things that is a, like a cross board kind of thing. So you, you're you're a chronic liar, but you're supposed to be a moral person, but you lie all the time. Make this shit make sense, Chantal, because it doesn't make sense. You couldn't even tell the truth about whether you took the filters off. You had to lie because we've been on you about on you about the filters. Yes, it's still online. There's nothing I can do about that. I can only do what I can control. Um, you're not gonna do it because you're. 
Because Chantal, you know people, you know people are going to go back to those moments and rewatch, and you're still going to make money off that. So why would you take it down? Oh. A lot of people eat with their hands here, by the way. <laughs> now, I don't feel like uh, I'm being the best person I can be when I'm retaliating, engaging in drama, name calling. Of course, when someone's attacking us, especially our looks, the first you know instinct out of anger is to make fun of them back. But that's against Islam to do that. The only thing that will matter in the end is how we've treated other people in the face of adversity, how we conduct ourselves in the face of conflict. know if this is a thing in the muslim faith i mean maybe she'll do it in private but you have a lot of repenting to do let's just say that i'm going to use more like christian terms i don't know what it, I, i'm not really well versed in the in the muslim faith so forgive me but you, you have a lot of repenting to do to allah and maybe you should apologize to the people that you've you know gone after even ffg for example even if she doesn't apologize to you back maybe you should it would make you a better person chantel now you know what i'm gonna say it. i if i've ever gone after anybody's looks on here i'm sorry even to chantel i'm sorry I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and claim that i'm perfect and you know i hope you know i hope for my sake that i don't do it again but like and it's claim Amber as well. I'm sorry to Amber as well if I've ever gone after her looks, you know. But I'm not going to claim to be perfect, like I said, and I don't claim to be perfect. And if I, I, I hope I don't do it again. But like you know, but you, you should apologize if you're going to really start to be more humble, Chantel. You need to apologize to the people that you've hurt and talked talked about. But you won't do it, will you? You don't. You you can't swallow your pride. And, and do it because that that's a real test of, of character right there which be like you know what even though i don't like you and i know you don't like me i'm sorry that i went after your looks uh, i'm sorry that i did these things to you i'll try to do better but you won't do that will you now that you're coming on here and acting all fucking fucking pious and shit and acting like you're better than everybody else because of your faith Okay, if you wanna if you wanna go down this road, then you need to there, you have a lot of apologizing to do to people in this community. And you know what? You also have a a, a major apology to Kai Bella. By the way, even though yeah, she instigated the shit between. Well, not really. I mean, she didn't really instigate it. If you look, if you look at the evidence, there wasn't a lot of instigating on her part. You still called her all those horrible names. Paul, you apologized to her because it, and and own up to the fact that it was really your husband that was the instigator. But you won't do that, will you? Because I mean, you that would mean that'd be a really big hit on your ego, wouldn't it? So for me. From now on, what's going to be more important is how I behave as a human being and not on, I'm not going to focus on getting a one-up on people who only want the worst for me, who only want to misunderstand me and try to make my life miserable, who just want to- Do you hear that in the background? You know what that is? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but you have to really listen for it. The call to prayer. So right now, instead of going to the call to prayer like you should- should be praying right now. You're sitting here doing this mukbang. I don't know if you can hear it. I want to hate, basically. I just heard it. Like it's really faint, but I could hear it. I I, I recognize it. 
you know, I, I um, because uh, based on the, one of the videos that she did when they were in the park, you could he clearly hear the call of prayer on the speaker. I just heard it again. So she would, shouldn't you be praying right now, Chantel? The irony of her coming on here talking about being a good Muslim and she's literally ignoring the call to prayer. Those people are not important, but we do spend a lot of time thinking about people like this in our lives. And it's wrong. We should be worrying about the people who love us and being kind no matter what. Because the people who are the meanest are the ones who are the most hurt and who need the kindness the most. I can't with this woman. The literal call to prayer is being is being called as she ma does this video, and she's talking about being good, you know, to others and yourself, and you know, spirituality and morality. Bitch, it's the call to prayer, and you're not. I can't. And you're sitting here stuffing your face. Can you hear it? It's so clear. You can hear it, can't you? Am I the only one hearing this? Oh, you don't have to. <clears throat> if you want to get your you own, you can hear it in the background. Check the description. When I'm off track, I don't take the slim because, you know. <laughs> but this I drink every day, regardless. I love it. Um, again, no sugar. It's a yerba mate drink, but it's like lemon flavor. It's so good. So I want. I don't know about most people, but for me, when I'm mean to someone or I say things that could hurt somebody, even if they've hurt me, it replays in my mind at night. Like, I have trouble sleeping, and that's why I end up deleting all my posts, because I do them in the heat of the moment when I'm feeling defensive. It's like a, pick, like a marinated eggplant. Um... I know I have a lot of haters who try to, will say, well, you deserve everything you get. But I have a lot of lovers. No, I'm not a bad person. No, you don't. In the end, I just want to be a better person. And that starts with, you know. A lo lovers would imply that, um, you know, you had boy you've had some boyfriends yes but lovers would imply that's like different um lovers would imply you're just having sex all with this one person all all the time you've had casual you've had hookups but uh, have she ever had like a lover i don't know i don't know how you treat other people This is really good. This marinade, <laughs> marinated eggplant. If I can't be nice to somebody, I'm just not. I'm gonna ignore them. I'm just not engage. <laughs> It's not important for me to, to stroke my ego and have pride and all that other stuff. So, that's my lecture for today. Um, yeah. Back to walking tomorrow. I like this place because I don't give you a huge portion of rice. It's just like a small tid. Like the palm of your hand. <laughs> Which is the diabetic doctor said to have maybe... A cup and a half of rice that's about it the fish looks huge because it's butterfly it's just one tilapia and there's not that much meat like it's mostly bones <laughs> but that's good enough i didn't even eat one whole bread okay i mean um, i don't eat I've a been... lot of fish so i, I wouldn't few... know to me in the beginning it looked look like a lot great please those are my favorite but considering yeah it is mostly bone then yeah i mean mm, you know okay i i okay
my, my opinions change a little bit. See, I don't, like I said, I don't eat a lot of fish. Right. So. I buy a huge can. Especially if there's bones. Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but this can is like a good brand. It's really delicious. And the ingredients are very minimal. Which is always good. A good sign. So, I guess that's it for now. Um, oh. those, those were the things on my mind today. Um, so, this was a morality lecture video. While she's stuffing her face during the call of prayer. I can't. BB Gad doesn't want any, I guess. <laughs> He's so. Oh, that's really That's really smart. Giving your animal food that ha possibly has bones in it. Like you're so dumb, Chantel. Cute. I'll film. I'll film myself giving him the fish. Earlier. Hey, uh, some cheese. A little bit of chicken today. Earlier. A uh, piece of carrot. Then he gets his mid-afternoon peanut. And uh, his regular kibble. Just a bit of that. And I'll give him this piece of fish. <laughs> He lives in a cage. Let him enjoy life. Whatever. <laughs> YOLO. Anyway. Um... God, YOLO is too... so 2010, 13, 14. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So basically this video was a morality lecture while stuffing her face and ign clearly ignoring the call to prayer. I literally can't. I mean, seriously, you could literally hear the, it on the speakers in the background. Now, if, if, if I was hearing things, let me know, but am I the only one that heard that? Anyways, I'm going to go, um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm sorry it's an hour long, but I had a lot to say today. So, until next time, folks, toodaloo, my loves.